So Nathan and I are both part of the ARC funded Centre of Excellence for Climate System Science. What I really like about the Centre of Excellence is that it allows collaboration across five excellent Australian universities with strength in earth sciences. So we're able to collaborate on large projects and problems that are right at the forefront of climate science internationally. My group is involved in understanding the climate system and climate change for the oceans. The challenge here is to really actually find out how much humans have been influencing these observed changes in the climate system. What we've found is that we're 99% sure that there's a human influence for ocean temperatures. We have found that the patterns of salinity change, there's a 90% certainty of that being human influenced. And similarly for the declining oxygen concentrations. I study phytoplankton, they're the base of the marine food chain um, and they uh, fix about half of the world's carbon. That means that they um, produce about uh, the same amount of oxygen as do land plants. So every second breath we take is due to the productivity of the oceans. Now the Southern Ocean is an incredibly windy place and those winds drive the ocean currents. Those ocean currents in turn um, deliver nutrients to the surface and they change the distribution and abundance of phytoplankton. The uh, depletion of ozone and the accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is changing the distribution of these winds in the Southern Ocean. I'm interested in uh, seeing how those uh, changes in winds are affecting the productivity and the exchange of CO2 between the ocean and the atmosphere. So I'm using satellite data to understand how these changes in winds are changing ocean circulation and ocean productivity. So the kinds of insights that I'm gaining can be used to improve models that are used by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and that feeds into reports um, that Nathan offers. The Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change is a joint effort between the United Nations Environment Program and the World Climate Research Program. And it's these assessments that we've been carrying out here in Hobart that feed into that scientific process. In September of this year, 40 scientists will join with 113 nations to write the final words for the summary for policy makers. The final report, the fifth assessment report, will be released in February of 2014 and it is this report that will become the authoritative source for nations to face the scientific information they need for the mitigation of climate change and adaptation around climate change. The other important aspect of the Centre of Excellence is that we're able to train the next generation of climate scientists across these universities. So through our graduate program, not only are our students attacking some of the most important questions in climate science internationally, we're also developing expertise in Australia that's really putting us on the map in climate science.